my first brisket on the Kingsford Stockade 49. Welcome back guys. It is brisket day. It is Saturday weekend, Memorial weekend. Uh, it's beautiful out. I finally don't have a wind. I got a bug on me. Brisket, I get asked about the most. Everybody is super worried about cooking brisket. And to be honest, I can't really blame them. The first time you do it, just be prepared. It might not turn out that great. That's okay. You got a place to start learning from. So go get yourself a brisket and give it a try. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to keep it at a temp around 250 and I'm going to get it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, internal temp, and then I'll wrap it in butcher's paper. Let's get to it. So we just hit 165 degrees and to be honest, I hope you can see that and I'll get you some close ups, but the bark is just not where I want it to be before I wrap it. Uh, so I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer to see how the bark, for, bark forms and that's the thermometer going off saying it's below 200. All right, so I closed the lid to get the temperature under control, uh, but I want to get a better bark than I, what I have right now before I wrap it. So I'm gonna let it run a little long. It's in that stall area of 165 to 175. So I'm not really too worried about it. It's got a water pan underneath keeping it moist. Uh, it looks really good, but I want that bark to be a little darker before I wrap it. All right, guys, I just can't catch a freaking break today. 20 minutes ago, there was a diesel truck parked outside by the smoker. I couldn't record. And then as soon as he left and I got those quick clips in, guess who showed up? The landscapers. So it's just one of those days. We're going to roll with it just like you need to roll with brisket. All right. So as I just told you, you want to get that internal temp. Some people do it to 155, others 160, 165, and then they'll wrap it. Some people don't wrap it. All right, there's a lot of information out there of what to do when it comes to cooking your brisket right. I don't cook a brisket perfect, all right? That's a fact. So what I'm looking to do today is hit an internal temp 0165, but as I said, the bark just doesn't look right to me. So I want to keep going a little bit longer to form more bark up, then I'll wrap it, all right? And then I'll get it to 203, pull it, put it in a cooler, and let it rest for a while. Now, I could have just wrapped it right at 165. Thermometer goes off, boom, let's wrap it. That would have been fine too. I've done that. You can experiment with brisket. That's what I'm saying. Don't get so worked up about cooking a brisket. You'll watch 100 videos, read tons of books on this information, and then when you come to cooking it, you're stressed out. Just relax, enjoy the day, sip an ice cold one, and you'll get there. <music>
One thing to be super careful when you hit 203. Nothing fails the probe test. And I'm gonna put that on the screen right here. All right, you wanna poke the probe to make sure it pokes through like butter. Your thermometer might tell you, look, it hit 203, but you wanna get one of those pens. They're super cheap on Amazon. They're like 12 to 15 bucks, all right? You just poke it. If it goes through like butter, that's when your brisket's ready, all right? I've been deceived in the past. 203 hits, all right, this is time to take it off. Wrong. It still was tough. You really gotta make sure the whole brisket turns over internally and gets that butter soft. All right, guys, I took it off at 203. It was probe tender through most of it. The flat, I could tell all the way by the tip of the flat. Uh, it, it seemed a little tough, but I've been on this smoker for about eight and a half hours. I know that's not a long time for a brisket, but it's five o'clock here and we were getting ready to eat. So I needed to get it off. Uh, most of it though was super tender, except a little section of it. Like I said, I can live with that. It's time to eat. So, I got booted out of my backyard again. It's Memorial Day weekend. Everybody is outside and there's just a lot of background noise. So I'm gonna do the taste testing right here. This is the flat. Wow. There is a lot of awesome flavor going on. For a first cook, I've been a salt and pepper and garlic powder maybe on a brisket before. I think I've been converted. I had Neil Serap's Tasty Sear. I had Mind Blown Sear, uh, Mind Blown Rub on there also. I've historically not been a rub guy, but my friend over at Smoking It Up RVA Style on Instagram, he said, you gotta start putting rubs on. And I finally took the plunge. And I gotta say, it's incredible. Now the flat, like I thought, was gonna be a little tougher than I wanted it, but it's still really, really good. Um, and I can just tell though the fat, which I absolutely love, I'm a sucker for the fat portion, or the point, uh, this is super tender. So this I know was probe tender, uh, and I left a little fat on, so no more talking, let's try. Guys. First brisket on the stockade, major success. Uh, offset smoking, you'll see the smoke ring. So much smoke flavor, but the rub was perfect. You can still taste the beefiness. This is a good Saturday. What can I say? This was an awesome brisket. Like I said throughout this video, if you're afraid of brisket, stop being afraid, just go after it, get it done and learn from there. Uh, my stockade fellow stockade users that are on the Facebook group and are also following on this YouTube journey Let me know how your first brisket turns out on our Facebook group. That's uh, Kingsford stockade 49 smoke and grill And if you're new to this channel, thanks for checking this out Make sure to subscribe like and share with a friend Especially if they're looking for an awesome offset smoker or want to learn how to cook a great barbecue I'm gonna wrap this up. but I'm gonna put a couple videos right here 
that are also with this offset smoker. So feel free to check them out and share them with your friends. Thank you.